William, Prince of Wales, has released a heartbreaking statement mourning the loss of a close family friend in a plane crash early this week. The Prince said that his friend Mark Jenkins and Jenkins' kid killed in a plane crash over Kenya's Tsavo National Park. William stated that Mark had devoted his life to the preservation of wildlife in several of East Africa's most illustrious national parks. The conservationist plane crashed while he was on a routine aerial patrol with a non-profit David Sheldrick Wildlife Trust. The prince expressed his condolences to Mark's loved ones, saying that he had lost a man who was loved and admired by many. Sharing his sadness at the tragic loss on Kensington Palace's Twitter page, William wrote, Yesterday, I lost a friend who dedicated his life to protecting wildlife in some of East Africa's most renowned national parks. Mark Jenkins and his son Peter were tragically killed when flying over to Savu National Park while conducting an aerial patrol. The statement continued, Tonight, I'm thinking about Mark's wife, family and colleagues, who sadly lost a man we all loved and admired. William signed off the tweet with his initial to show that it had come from him. Royal fans supported the Prince of Wales with one penning. These rangers are true heroes. It's heartbreaking to hear that another brave soul has lost his life while protecting our precious wildlife. My thoughts and prayers go out to all his loved ones at this impossible time. Another one posted, heartbreaking prayers to the family. And a third added, absolutely devastating. During his three and a half months in Africa in 2001, Prince William went on safari and learned about game conservation, wildlife and the environment, which is where he first met Mark. Both were impressed by the prince's dedication to the Tusk Trust and a relationship blossomed between them. William has travelled extensively over Africa and is a passionate conservationist. He established United for Wildlife to defend endangered species from the illicit wildlife trade and is the patron of the Tusk Trust, a non-profit organisation dedicated to wildlife conservation. He proposed to the then Kate Middleton in Kenya in 2010. The Frankfurt Zoological Society also paid tribute to Mark, who they described as a lifelong conservationist and experienced bush pilot. The tribute read, passionate, principled and strong-willed. Mark was never afraid to speak his mind and stand for what he believed in. He was an incredible presence and made an indelible impression wherever he went. Those of us who worked alongside him remember him for his determination, thoughtfulness, his energy, his mischievous smile and his deep love of wildlife and wild places. We will miss his warmth his hilarious stories and his sometimes rather irreverent comments which always made us smile. Mark was a devoted husband and father and leaves behind his wife and his son. The park is almost 22,000 square kilometres and is the largest national park in Kenya and one of the biggest in the world according to the official website. In 2014 Prince William through United for Wildlife was involved in a scheme tested at Tsavo National Park in Kenya that deployed secret surveillance cameras around many of the world's last great wildernesses in the hope of catching poachers. In August, William also shared his grief about the death of another ranger, posting, I'm deeply saddened to learn of the killing of Anton Mzimba, who I spoke to in November. Committed and brave, rangers like Anton are central to the conservation of Africa's fantastic wildlife. Those responsible must swiftly be brought to justice. My thoughts are with his family. Prince William has been involved in efforts to save endangered species from poachers for several years and in 2018 visited the continent as part of his role as patron of the Royal African Society. In a speech ahead of his visit, William said, I first fell in love with Africa when I spent time in Kenya, Botswana and Tanzania as a teenager. I was captivated and have been hankering to get back as often as possible ever since. That is why, when you kindly asked me to become the patron of the Royal African Society last year, it was a pretty easy offer to accept.